Hey guys, today we're taking a look at Ann Yang, uh, speech recognition that just works. I don't know if Ann Yang is how you pronounce it, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it for the duration of this video, and it is really cool. And I thought it would be really cool also to kind of mix it in with this little to-do application we built a few videos ago. Uh, so here it is. I'm going to refresh it. It's using local storage to keep track of things. We can add items. We can check off on those items and we can say clear completed. Now the only change I made to this uh, 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 bit of code is I added this little number to the beginning of each one which is achieved with index plus one and I also added in the An Yang library. Now I got that through Bower. It was just Bower install An Yang, no problem. Uh, so without changing anything else in the code, we're gonna jump in and start using An Yang. Uh, so first I'm gonna create an argument, or not an argument, a uh, object called commands. And uh, the way this works is the key, so it's an object, and the keys are the things you want the user to say. So I'm gonna say new item, and I'm gonna throw in an asterisk, and I'm gonna call it val. So this is new item, I want the user to say new item, and then the thing that they wanna add as a to-do, and then I'm gonna say here's my function for that. And that's gonna take in that val variable, and then, uh, so we just need to interact with our application here. So scope dot new to do equals val, and then scope dot add to do, and then in our case we are going to need to say scope dot dollar apply uh, because for whatever reason this type of event does not fall under the standard, you know, kind of automatic apply, which is going to call a digest. And we've never really talked about that much, but uh, we just, we need to do it. Otherwise, what's going to happen is it's going to put it in the scope. It's going to put it in the, into the to-dos and into local storage, uh, but it's not going to update the screen until we do something else, like a click or whatever. So by doing the apply, it'll apply that. So there's our first command. Uh, we'll add a couple more, but uh, the, basically the next step is going to be, and yang, whoops, and yang dot add commands, and then we just pass it in our commands object. And then we say and yang dot start. Uh, now around this, we should be saying you know if and yang, which would let us know if the browser supports get user media, uh, but we're not going to worry about that right now. We just want to try this out. Uh, now one thing you'll notice is I am running this in an HTTP server. In my case, it's IIS Express right now. Uh, but if you're not running in a server and it's coming from, you know, file colon slash slash or something like that, uh, uh, Chrome at least will block the uh, get user media functionality. Uh, and you can turn on or turn off some flags or enable some stuff. Uh, but if, if you can use a server, just use a server. It's a lot easier. So I'm going to reload this. Now it's asking me, you know, do I want to let this address use my microphone? I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to say new item. Uh, talk about JavaScript. And I wasn't very clear on that, so I don't think that worked. All right, try this one more time. <clears throat> New item. Don't forget to exercise on Thursday. Nothing. Okay, so one way we can check this out, what's going on here, uh, is uh, right before the start, I think, and yang dot debug. And we can get a look at how it's interpreting what it is we're saying. So let's reload this one more time. Allow that. New item, talk about JavaScript. We're not getting anything. Oh, hey. All right, reload. New item, don't forget to exercise on Wednesday. Nothing. Oh, hey. Oh, no, that worked. Look, so we got our number three, don't forget to exercise on Wednesday. And we'll try one more. <clears throat> New item, Peacock. <laughs> okay, so that totally didn't work. Or we got a bunch of, it's kind of building up some sort of, uh, 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 you know, I'm talking to you, but I should just be talking to the app. Let's let that catch up. New item, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. So that was really good. That worked. Uh, it, there's going to be, you know, an issue with me talking into the microphone in order to explain what's going on and also trying to talk to the application. And you'll see that in the console, it's gonna start you know, rambling off what it thinks I'm saying. And I'm gonna pause for a moment. <coughs> New item, post a video to YouTube on Friday about JavaScript. 
So, man, that worked really well. Uh, I'm really happy with that. Okay, so what else do we want to do here? So we want to be able to check off on these items. So let's say check number and then pass in a val. And that's why that's why I added those, uh, you know, the, the identifying numbers to each one so that we could do this exactly right here. Uh, so we're just going to say scope dot to do's, uh, and I'm just going to I'm just going to parse that. We should be doing some error checking here, but whatever. And it's going to be minus one because we've got uh, in the zero position we've got a number one. Uh, so we're just going to take that item and we're going to say done equals true, and then again we're going to do our dollar apply to make sure that all updates, and let's give that a whirl. Check number two. Check number four. Hey, that worked pretty well. <clears throat> uh, it works a lot better when I'm not injecting a whole bunch of other speech. Uh, so, okay, now we need to be able to clear our completed. So that one should be pretty simple. Clear, completed. So we want to say clear, completed, and have that happen. No variable on this one. Uh, so scope dot clear. Whoop. Uh, clear ah. completed and then of course scope dot apply all right let's try it out reload allow check number five clear completed add don't forget to write an article Uh, you know what? I don't know why that didn't work. Let's try that. Oh, you know what? Because that, that's not my command. My command is different. <clears throat> New item. Don't forget to write an article. Beautiful. Wonderful. All right. I want to add one more in here just because uh, I, th I think creating applications like this allows you to, you know, think a little bit differently when you start taking in, into account different types of user input. So I'm just going to say remove number. Now we didn't have anything to remove. We don't have any little X's on this or deletes or anything to remove an individual uh, item. But I'm going to say remove number val. I'm passing that val just like we did before. And now I'm going to say so you scope dot uh, what do I want to say? Scope dot to do's dot splice and then uh, we can use this value right here. So same thing. Uh, so parse that integer or parse int, you know, the value that was passed in and uh, remove just one item. And then again, scope dot apply. And so that should be pretty cool. Let's try this out. <coughs> you know, I'm going to take a drink of water. So my voice is clear. <coughs> try this out. Reload. Allow. Add new item, peacock. Oh shit! It was just new item, not add new item. Dang it! All right. <clears throat> new item. This is going pretty well. New item. Don't forget to exercise on Thursday. Eh, they turned exercise into access, but that's not that bad. New item. Post a video to YouTube. No luck on that one. New item. Post a video to YouTube. So these are working pretty well. Check number five. Check number three. Remove number two. Clear completed. Man, I am really happy with what just happened. Uh, so, I mean, you got to get used to how to talk to these things. And again, me talking uh, about this while trying to talk to the application as input is a little tricky. Uh, and, and you don't really run into that that often. If somebody's going to talk to an application, they're just going to talk to it. Uh, so I'm, I'm really excited about this Anne Yang library. I think it, it just makes this uh, speech recognition stuff so easy uh, honestly, as soon as I saw it, I just wanted to add it to all my all my websites, all my applications, everywhere. 
Uh, it, it's probably got a little ways to go, and we definitely need more uh, a wider browser adoption. But uh, but man, is that neat! So I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's Anne Yang, and uh, and I hope you guys have a good one. 